go get it. It's on us. Here's Rubio into the front. His guys go. trail now by four. To Waiters. Three right, three right, three right. To Rudy Gay. Gets to the basket, but it's no good. Livingston to bring it up. Leads four. Nice pass to set things up. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Here comes the screen. Rubio. Finishing inside the paint on that one. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving it... Oh, to away. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. White side to James. Short jumper off the mark. You know, Ed, everybody gives so much credit to the guy who contested the shot, but there's no way he's in that position without the communication of the backbone of the defense. When you have a guy back there who can block shots and tells you to apply more pressure, you know you're in a safe place. Jonas Valanciunas with the block. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Kings have the basketball. Livingston to James. Down to Zaza. Oh, emphatic slam. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. To Valanchunas. Jonas Valanchunas. That's how it's done. He's four for four in the game. Valanciunas giving you that sides, giving you that length, a guy that can extend the defense. But you kind of forget that he was the fifth pick taken over. in 2011. Giannis with it up top. Trailing by four. Jonas Valanciunas. The defense is really going to have to start paying attention. He's five for five for the field. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Warriors basketball. Rubio to Young. Rubio to Young. <laughs> From the painted area, won't go down. Livingston across the timeline. Two-point advantage to James. Nothing going here on that drive. Screen coming. LeBron James matched up with Evan Turner. 
with the fadeaway. Turns him for the basket. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. James. Warriors have it. To Rubio. Runners good there. The Kings will use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming up. to the floor. Hey, lock up, lock up. James. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish. Just like that. To Rubio. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. Mm. I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. To James. Down to Zaza. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. There you go. Finally. Shoot your shot. Rubio into the front court. His group now down two. Adeta Kumbo. To Valanchunas. Knocked loose. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Ricky Rubio. To James. Pascal Siakam. Jonas Valanciunas sends it away. That's his third block this evening. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball. Especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with size and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. Trying to cash in, can't connect. We call some of these players practice players. You know the guys that make five out of ten shots in practice, but then all of a sudden they're not gamers because then they're making one of ten. That's exactly what you want him to do. You want him to take those kind of shots. Haskell Siakam to James. Has a chance. Gets a look. Can't hit. To Rubio. Going to launch. Beyond the arc. That's how you defend. Nice finish at the rim. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. <laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. LBJ.
has it. Shot from the lane won't go. Here's Rubio up top. Shot clock off as they look to tie or take the lead onto the fourth quarter. Nothing going here on that drive. Three quarters down. Scoreboard says it's all even. The Kings have the basketball as we begin the fourth quarter. And this game's been everything we could have hoped for. All tied up after three. This is what happens when you have winners on both sides. People who are not willing to give up and will continue to scrape and claw to get themselves in a position to win this ballgame. Good. Off a spin. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. LeBron into the front court. All tied up, just underway in this fourth quarter. Has a look. Oh, he was wide open. It's not going to be pretty when they watch the video. Someone's getting chewed out. This offseason, I heard so many voices. Even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal. Talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy. And that's to be the greatest of all time. Waiters to Collison. A lot of contact. No whistle to Rudy Gay. Waiters. The pass set it all up. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. LeBron James with the lock. Stuffs it down with authority. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Dion Waiters, four out of seven. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. James against Rudy Gay. Knocks it down from mid-range. Look at that, calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys watch those. Nice extra move there. To Young. Collison. To Young. Zaza Pachulia rejects it. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Young to Rudy Gay. Try to cash in. Bane shot no good. See, when good shooters catch, they just shoot. When bad shooters catch, they become hesitant, reluctant. That's the first sign of a guy that doesn't have confidence. Layup goes down. Well done. That might have been a little bit easier than expected there. Considering the score. New blood coming in for both sides. to Valanchunas. Oh, ferocious slam inside. It just seems like nobody can stop him but him. Once he's found his offensive swag, that boy's deadly. It's Sacramento ball. 
James. To Marcus Smart. Great feed. And look out. Whoa, he got up there. Just showing you that 40-inch vertical. Giannis in control of the basketball. His guys trail now by four. Here comes the screen. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. The defense should have picked up on that action. That's going to cost them. LeBron with it up top. The lead is two. Driving right to the back. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. To Adeta Kumbo. And he finishes at the rim. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in the zone by himself. LBJ. Haskell Siakam to Marcus Smart. Nothing going here on that drive. To Marcus Smart. They love this hustle. Not giving up on that play. The results, a tie-up. The official's ready. Let's see who can take the jump. Adetokounmpo to Valanciunas. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Had a good look there, but it's no good. It's the Kings now with the ball. the defense count it no and one there was some contact there I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet but if anything it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim to the outside to Rubio to waiters the pass stolen by Sacramento you go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. jumper won't fall the most important thing a shooter can do is continue to shoot the defense is always going to give great effort but it's more of your psyche that goes into the next shot that will limit you on whether you make the shot or not waiters buries it on the catch and shoot and if you're on d right now if you're off on the weak side stunt towards the driver that means fake at him don't overcommit. stunt then get back to your stay at home force him to make one of those passes or force him to take a crazy shot at the rim James. Able to convert inside. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. It's Golden State basketball. Take stock of the floor. Here comes the screen to Valanchunas. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lucks here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Jonas Valanciunas at the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 78% at the line. The free throw, good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. Across the timeline comes James. He'll run the offense. Oh, stolen by the Warriors. 
LeBron James. Oh, that's out. Out of here. It always looks cool, but guess what? You're still on D. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Rubio to Valanchunas. Kicks it around the perimeter to Rubio. Trying to shoot for Golden State. Valanchunas to Adetokounmpo. Shot clock violation. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Livingston to Caldwell Pope. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Kings with the ball. Haskell Siakam to Caldwell Pope. Sizing up the defense. Gets a shot up off the mark. To Adeta Kumbo. Big finish at the rim. Well, look, you can't be caught flat-footed on defense. You need to be on the balls of your feet, especially in transition. You have to jab at that guy with the ball, hedge at him. Make him think that maybe you will take him. Maybe you'll fan out to a defender on the perimeter. But still, keep him guessing. But when you don't do that, that's easy money. Screen coming. Caldwell Pope. Pascal Siakam, strong finish. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Here's Rubio into the front court. Up by six. Oh, had him go in there for a second. Takes it right to the rim. A lot of contact there, but they say no foul. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show, because that's what you're watching right now. Jonas Valanciunas. Oh, oh, and he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. Time for some new personnel into the game. the three you give him that much time he's going to make you pay lebron james with the three just because someone is listening to you doesn't mean that they actually hear you at the end of the game when players get tired they listen to what the assignment was but they didn't hear what it was and finishes strong mm -hmm. we call that get your money and put it in the bank <laughs> Rubio into the front court. Leads three. Nothing going here on that drive. Rubio to Adeta Kumbo. Stuffs it down with authority. Ooh, shows like this separate the good players from the great ones. The good players, they have good first halves, and then they fade to black in the second. The great players, they just sustain that kind of dynamic energy throughout the entire ballgame. Screen coming. And he buries it. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Giannis with it up top. Up by three. To Valanchunas. Dedekumbo to Valanchunas. To the rim. Lays it up and in. Oh, man. You're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Caldwell Pope to James. Here comes the screen. James not going down here he won't get away with this one referee calls it intentional good foul right there you want to stop the clock 
Now the stoppage and an intentional foul means free throws coming with a little over 30 seconds to go. In the 80s, that might have been a personal, but regardless, it had the same impact. You just injected a little life into your squad just when they needed it. Nope, first one does not go. Good recovery. Hits the second free throw. Now a whistle, and it's going to be a timeout for Sacramento. But this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence. going to make some changes with some new personnel on the floor. James to Marcus Smart. on the shot clock for Sacramento. Jonas Valanciunas able to recover with the block. Incredible. Six to... footer at the buzzer it's the Warriors who get the victory they moved ahead two games to one in this best of seven series for my partner Jay Williams and our entire crew I'm Ed Cohen this has been the NBA playoffs on EA Sports find out more at easports.com until next time good night Sports post game wrap up. The Warriors almost let this one get away from them, but they managed to get the victory. And how could I not mention all the shots they blocked in this one? You can see the confidence grow with each one, and it really fed into their success as a team. It was a pretty standout way to win. The Warriors got their score from the guys you're seeing here on screen. The Kings are probably frustrated with player of the game. I'll take Takumpo was aggressive today with his scoring, getting his points right at the basket. He put down a crazy number of dunks in today's matchup. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.